scientific discussion says in a comment uh, that all language is metaphorical. Um, and uh, you know, how ed uneducated do you have to be to think that language can ever be concrete? Um, well, obviously all language is not metaphorical, otherwise it wouldn't have made any sense for you to uh, watch Mr. Cropper's video and then pick out all the, the metaphors he uses, like in the back pocket or, you know, turning blue in the face. None of that would make sense if every, all of what he said was a metaphor. I mean, if the was a metaphor, you would pick that out and make fun of it. But of course not all language is a metaphor, otherwise we would have no concept of a metaphor. So language is not metaphorical. Um, language is symbolic. The word talk is not a metaphor. Um, it's a direct reference, a symbol uh, representing a certain kind of action. Now if we were to say, you know, my computer talked to your computer, that's a metaphor because they're not literally talking. Um, so let's see, what else? And a scientific discussion gets a bit sarcastic with uh, the, the stitch together. He goes, oh, stitch together, I have no idea what he means by that. Now, um, Mr. Cropper is not, he's, he's starting out the whole thing. He's describing the, the whole passage from, um, uh, from Bedtime with a Lunatic that starts out with uh, stitch together. You have to stitch together what? That's the whole question. The, the whole passage is completely vague. You don't know what is being stitched together. Um, you know, things are being on the surface, you know, or, you know, they're going down deep. Bedtime with a Lunatic does not say what is on the surface, what is superficial, um, or what he thinks is deeper. Um, now, and what is fresh? You know, what is fresh about this new conversation? So this approach is what Mr. Cropper is, is getting at. Um, he's saying that uh, when backed into a corner, um, very often postmodernists will just start saying gibberish. Um, you know, basically anything to uh, look as if they are answering the question when really nothing is being said. Uh, let's see. Yes. So if you if you've ever heard of the postmodernism generator, this is a website uh, that will generate complete nonsense uh, uh, postmodern. Uh, essays. Um, perfectly grammatical in every way, they just don't mean anything. And let me give you an example. Uh, if one examines the textual paradigm of context, one is faced with a choice. Either accept Bataille East, uh, Bataille? Whatever, the name's not important. Uh, accept this guy's powerful communication, or conclude that sexuality is used to reinforce hierarchy given that truth is interchangeable with reality. Now, if you think that's meaningful, um, I'm not sure what to, I'm not sure how to help you, but, uh, so there's just one example of being, a, of stringing words together. Each word means something, but when you string them together, they don't really mean anything. There isn't any definition on the misuse of metaphors. Um, nine, nine, you say, um, this is right there in the video for all to see. You're wrong. It isn't there. You're just kind of thinking that it is because you want to side with the problem. It isn't there. He does not provide a definition on the misuse of metaphor, quantitative nor qualitative. it concrete. And if you try to make it concrete, when they reply, when you ask them a question, you, know, you criticize their statement in some way and say, concretely, blah, 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 blah. They will reply with something that you can't touch, something that's not real, something bizarre, a metaphor, an idea, something like saying that, uh, like when I say, listen, Azrian Ock, Science is objective and religion is not. And if one of them is going to have political power, it should be science. When I say that, and this fool comes back and says, uh, Adrian up is, is trying to go into, instead of just being on the surface of it, is trying to go into a dialogue uh, that is fresh, 